knows a lot about the science stuff, Professor Dave explains. Continuing on our way through Ectesozoa, we reach Phylum Priapolida. Unlike the Kynorhynchins and Lorisiferans, the Priapolids are not microscopic. Most are about 12 to 15 centimeters long, with the largest reaching a size of 40 centimeters. Although physically they are somewhat large, in terms of diversity they are the smallest ectesozoan phylum, with only 22 described species as of 2022. They are often commonly referred to as penis worms, and their phylum name is derived from Priapus, a minor fertility god in Greek mythology that protected livestock, fruit plants, and male genitals. In fact, not all penis worms are large. Some only reach a size of one millimeter as adults. This species-specific size dichotomy seems to be related to their localized ecology, as larger species are found in colder waters, while the smallest inhabit tropical waters. The deepest dwelling species is the aptly named Priapolis abyssorum that was collected below 5,600 meters, or about 3.5 miles, in 1959. However, most species live in mud in shallow waters less than 90 meters, or about 300 feet deep. Some species appear to be able to survive in areas with very little oxygen, and others can become locally abundant with densities of up to 85 individuals per square meter. Though their current diversity is quite low, fossil evidence indicates they were quite abundant in the Cambrian seas. In order to further explore this unique phylum, we will discuss their history of discovery, form and function, reproduction and development, and finally, a problem with common names. Though the Priapolids were known since at least the early 1800s, and by some accounts much earlier, they were not identified as a phylum until recently. They were considered to be closely related to sea cucumbers, then a class of flatworms, then a phylum outside of Ectesozoa. However, all recent molecular work has confirmed their placement as a member of the clade Ectesozoa and relatives of Phyla Kynorhynchia and Lorisifera. Anatomically, Priapolids have a cylindrical body comprised of an introvert and trunk. Some species also have one or two caudal appendages that extend off the trunk. Their introvert is retractable and ends in a row of scalids that surround the mouth. They can retract their introvert using hydrostatic pressure and then further evert their pharynx, which they use for capturing small, soft-bodied prey. Prey captured by the pharynx moves to the straight intestine. Indigestible parts are expelled through the anus. Like all ectesozoans, the priapolids are covered in a chitinous cuticle that they molt when growing. They lack both a circulatory and respiratory system, but instead have a hollow body cavity that houses amoebocytes, which contain respiratory pigments. Their nervous system is comprised of a nerve ring, which acts as their brain that surrounds their muscular pharynx, and a large nerve cord that runs the length of the body. Contrary to some older studies, recent analyses have found that penis worms do have sensory structures on their cuticle, though most of them are mechanoreceptors and chemoreceptors. Many of their scalids also contain sensory nerve endings which also line their proboscis. Their excretory and reproductive systems are combined into a urogenital system in which the excretory system develops first and then the reproductive system. Individual penis worms are either male or female. Reproduction occurs externally in some species and internally in others. Sex cells pass through the excretory system. Most appear to show no parental care, but some brood their young until they hatch. Offspring tend to resemble parents, and some species are direct developers, meaning the offspring hatch as essentially miniaturized versions of their parents instead of a larval form. Together with Acura and Sepuncula, the Priapolids were once placed in the taxon Gepheria, but consistent morphological and molecular evidence has confirmed their placement as their own phylum in Ectesozoa. However, they are still often confused with these two groups, both of which are classified within phylum Annelida, the segmented worms. 
Not only do they all look rather similar, but even their common names are similar. The sipunculins are known as peanut worms, but sometimes get mistaken as penis worms. While the acurins, specifically species Eurachis unisinctus, are often called penis fish and are eaten in some parts of the world. However, they are not at all closely related to the sipunculins or the priapolids. And that covers the penis worms of Priapolita. Let's move forward and check out some more phyla. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Support me on Patreon so I can keep making content. And as always, feel free to email me, ProfessorDaveExplains at gmail.com.